This video will demonstrate the procedures for completing the offset link drawing, which is drawing 1-8. I'm going to start this drawing by locating my two center points. So to start this, I'm just going to create a center point somewhere in the middle of my drawing. And let's jump back here. Okay, I know that based off of this center point, I have a circle with a radius of 1.5. So let's jump back over here. Circle, radius, 1.5. That circle is going to come around and flow smoothly and that comes straight across to my center point. So I'm going to create a line at the lower quadrant so it will be tangent to that quadrant and we'll just draw that really long. The distance from my center mark here and here is four inches. So I'm going to offset my center mark four inches and draw that longer and just for the heck of it let's make these a little bit longer as well okay so I have my second center mark located around that center mark I have another circle with a radius of 1.5 all right and based off of the top quadrant I'm going to have a line coming straight across and that should line up with this center mark here which it sure looks like it does so let's create some of these small tangent arcs. So I know that the radius is 0.63 and that I'm tangent to both this horizontal line and my circle. So I'm going to offset 0.63 and I will put both of those lines in the construction layer so we can see that. Let's go ahead and create a radius 0.63. Trim off these extra pieces and get rid of these lines we offset. Oh, little tiny tail there. Trim that off. Let's trim this here. All right, I have another 0.63 radius down here. Offset 0.63. Circle with a radius 0.63. Trim those little pieces off and get rid of this and we'll clean this up a little bit all right so that's looking pretty good my smaller circles in the center have a diameter of 1.5 let's do a diameter One point five. We'll do a another diameter here. One point five. All right. Now let's take a look at our center marks. So I need to leave a little gap right here. So I got a little bit of a gap here. Need to create those nice little plus signs in the center. 
Let's go ahead and offset this an eighth of an inch and see what that looks like. That should look pretty good. Two times each way. Trim off these extra little pieces. Get rid of the rest. All right, same thing here. Two times each way. Trim off my excess pieces that I do not need. Get rid of those lines that I offset. And let's pull these back a little bit because that's a little bit too excessive for a center mark. We really want these drawings to be aesthetically appealing, but also meet our requirements for doing these various types of lines and where things start and where things end. And obviously, the number one thing is to make sure all of it is the correct measurements and that it's drawn correctly. So let's go ahead and save this. This will be Let's take a look at what drawing this is. This is drawing 1-8. So we're going to say this is Olson 1-8. And we are ready to plot it out.